<coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Good evening, guys. Welcome back to the Sullivan family. So, everything's gone a bit haywire today, but I'm cooking a chicken fajita pasta. Well, it's actually pulled chicken fajita pasta. That's quite a lot to say, isn't it? Pulled chicken fajita pasta. So I was meant to make this earlier, but everything kind of went a bit all over the place. Um, so, I'm making it now, but it's only going to be for the older ones because the little ones have had to eat. And um, obviously, with, if you've been following, you'll know Ben had to go into hospital and the day just kind of went a bit wrong. So the little ones just had whatever and eight, eight of the older ones having chicken fajita pasta. So I am making, um, so the original recipe I think was for, was I didn't even know. Was it, it for four? Tea. Was it for two? I'm not entirely sure if it was two or four. I'm making it for But I'm making it for like, I was supposed to be making it for 12. But I'd say that it's probably going to be about 10 portions. Um, I think. But anyway, so the original recipe was like two chicken breasts, two fajita mixes. Um, so I've kind of tripled it again. And whether or not it'll be enough or too much, I'm not entirely sure. But we're going to go for it anyway. So what we have is... Um, there's five chicken breasts in there. Do you need two? What I'm gonna do to make it go a bit further, because obviously chickens are like majorly expensive. Um, and for some reason they didn't have hardly any in supermarket last night, I don't know why not. not. I'm gonna do pork chicken. So I'm gonna basically put these in to, into the oven, into onto a tray, into the oven. And I don't know what the bunion is. And what's up? Okay. Um, and cook them until they're done and then pretty much pull it all apart and then use it like that. Um, so while I'm gonna put them in, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. So I've got, I've actually got nine peppers because I like peppers, three onions. There's actually six packs of fajita mix, but I don't know whether that's gonna to be too many. It might well be too many, I'm gonna cook Basically, I'm going to cook half of it now and half of it later. So the original recipe had two packs. So it might, but I'm not sure if the original recipe was for like two or four people because it didn't really say. So like I said, I'm, this is a bit of a guesswork. Um, but I would say if you were cooking for like, oh, Joseph is not happy. I don't know, he's not happy. Somebody's doing something to his game. Want to it's been a bit of a day for everybody. Yeah, um, um, he wants to do his playing like a thing. I'm trying to find my house again. Anyway, so yeah, um, I'm going to cook it in two lots. So I'm going to use three for one and three for the other, but it might be too many. But if you're just cooking for like four, I would just go with the two, um, two for heat mixes. Um, I've got two Philadelphias, so one for one, one for the other I'm just checking that I didn't get flavoured like cheese and chive or anything because that's not going to work and that's pretty much it pasta pasta that's pretty much it it's really simple um so I am going to put these chicken breasts in to bake I've put the water on everything goes on 200 in this house you should know yep. that um I've put the water on to put the pasta in so you cook the pasta separately so you cook your pasta I'm going to cook the chicken if you were just going to um do uh like normal chicken um, chopped up chicken from fresh just you'd put that in cook it off and then put the fajita mix in but obviously because I'm doing pulled chicken I'm going to put it in the oven first um, so I'm going to put those in the oven cook them for about 20 minutes cook the pasta um, like 10 15 minutes I don't know how long pasta takes I just kind of know when it's ready um, and then we'll get to making all the other stuff but whilst that's doing, I'm going to chop up all this veg. This one's going to help me chop up all this veg. Try to fight it on you. I'll help you light your fire. I'll take your hand, raise you up higher. You can dare to live. Stand up. Um, tip, top tip. If you're cooking it in the oven, it's a little bit like a roast chicken. So I just line the tray with foil, it saves cleaning later. I line lots of my trays with foil 
um, because it just saves on the cleaning. Scraping it does. It's great. And then just cover it with some foil. You don't want well. it to burn on the outside. Kind of just bake then. Um, or you can cook it for a little while and then put the covering on, but I just like to cover it because I want it to be soft. So, yeah. Top of the what's going on upstairs? See, see, David. David says subscribe. David says subscribe. David is going to be. I don't know who made the sign, but somebody said that. I think it was one of the twins. David says subscribe. Right, we're getting on. I'm not going to use all of these right now, but I've cooked them all um, to just so I don't have to do so much preparation later, to be honest. So, smells like chicken. I'm just going to do like two and a half for each one. I'll cut it up with a butter knife. Are you making sure it's cooked? Let up. No, I was going to just do two and a half? Yeah, two and a half for each one. Wait, pass me the fork. If I cut it up, then I can see it's cooked, you know? It is cooked. I've checked. Okay, good. It's quite hard to cut chicken with a button in. Yeah, it's cooked, but you can see inside. Oh, nice! Some juicy chicken. Juicy chicken. Big and small, we can take one. Thank you. Where's the milk out? David fell over. Oh, David's gone, guys. David is gone. Let's see. Let's see how this shredding of chicken works. You might want to um, cut it with a fork. It comes apart quite, quite easily. You've got to put this in a pan, then for heat and mix. Do you want to pasta? We don't need the oven on. No. Oh, do, do I leave it on? Yeah. It's on. Slapping. That's some slacking business. Right, so just shred it all up. I mean, you don't have to, obviously. If you wanted to use normal chicken, you can, but... Um, oh, that was a bit hard. I am shredding it because it goes a little bit further. going to drain off the pasta yep. um, now technically you should be able to do all this in one pan but as is always with us um, I might have to transfer it one to the other just because of space but I will see how we get on what is that oh. that is just pasta water it's gone starchy it's starchy pasta water it's been sat there that's why 
right it's hot so that's pretty much all to go up oops just get that in there a little bit right Leave them plate for later. Wait a minute. Pasta is drained. See? Now, technically, this shouldn't be in a mess in there. There's only a little bit. Some of it has escaped. That's still on there. Oh, no, I didn't see that one. Oh, yeah. Right, it's over here. There you go. Oh, I need the other one. Yeah, no, I need to cook it. I've <laughs> got that one. We've got to put it together now. now. Right, so what you need to do is chicken, chicken and a, a in the pan. One and a half. How many for here? Three each. I'm going to do two. Mm, I'm going to do one to start with. One. I'll put it in. So hold on, let's put this for a hover in a minute. Which one is it? That one? This one. No, it's that one. Right, chicken in. Oh, like so. That smells beautiful. I vomit. I think fajita needs to get heated again. I love fajitas. I'm going to add one fajita mix to start with to it. I might, might have to add some more in a minute. I'm not entirely sure. Up a little bit. And to that as well, a bit of chicken. Oh. I'm gonna add the onions. Obviously our oven is electric, so it's just it's gonna take about more. ten years to turn on heat yeah. up. That's very hot. Put on that one, probably the one. This one. Put on that one if it's if it's quicker. It's very hot. This one is. Onions. I can't see. Nobody can see it now. This is going to stink. Yeah. And peppers. It just smells like tomatoes. You know the smoky barbecue um, Pringles. I think might need another season in back it. Yeah, me too. You can see. So, say so, it might be um, a bit better when it's uh, starting to heat up. We're going to add another pep um, for heat mix. Because obviously, we've got quite a lot of peppers in there and chicken. And onions. And onions. So, we've split it. So, there's one and a half onions and four and a half peppers in each. Three and a half. Three and a half. Wait, peppers. four and a half. Four and a half. So I'm just going to leave that to soften. Oh, that's not pretty um, good. That's supposed to be in there. I'm just going to leave that to cook through and soften for about four minutes, five minutes, and then oh, we'll like, add the like cream cheese. So I'm just going to leave it for about five minutes. Okay, so it's been about four or five minutes. It's all softened down, so make a little hole in the middle right. and add, yeah. you want to add an entire tub. You would need more usually, it says. cream cheese. But we don't well, need more. you see, this is the bit I didn't double. So that's just what I mean when I say I'm winging it, because I just thought if I doubled that, that's two tubs in one. Not only is that quite expensive, um, but I think it would be too much. So I'm just doing one. You don't want too cheesy. Mm, just makes it into a nice creamy kind of sauce. Um, I think if you needed any more liquid, just add water. Maybe a little I bit of water. I said to add pasta water, but I don't know if we need it. I think we're probably going to be all right. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to stir it through. That is definitely enough. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. Just 
keep stirring, stirring it through. I think that's done. Probably wet enough, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't need any more. And it's also got to go in the pasta as well. Yeah. Now, because my pan is not big enough, normally you would add the pasta to the pan, the pan. but mine's not big enough. So I'm going to add this to the pasta. And just oh oh good job no I'm gonna put it back on that one. You're gonna put it in it, okay. Um, come in. I need like a huge frying pan. A huge wok. Right. Ah. And then I'm literally just gonna mix it with mix it through. I think we might need that last packet of seasoning. Yeah. And then to that, one more packet of seasoning. But obviously, you wouldn't add the second one if you were just doing it for like calvary portions. One, the normal recipe has two in it. Yeah, normal recipe has got two. Normal recipe's got like one and then another one. But this is sort of for four or five people as opposed to two, three people. So I worked out, it's a little bit more of an expensive meal because it's got chicken in it. Um, and Philadelphia. And Philadelphia. Although you probably could get supermarket oh, owned, but I couldn't find any. Um, we were a bit starkers in our. There wasn't a lot of things. Well, we weren't starkers, but the, the shelves were last night. Um, I think I went out about two pound, two pound fifty a head, which is okay. Oh no, we've lost onion. So if it was for four, that would be like what ten pounds meal, which is okay. It's not like, really cheap, but it's not also not really expensive, and it's quite filling meal. So how's it doing? Things on there. I don't think you need any more seasoning. No, this is a good amount. There. Stir. No, it's fine. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that is it. So we're just going to save it up. You can do Right, so I think this actually works out at about six portions that I've just made. So we'll have some leftovers, which is fine because somebody will eat it tomorrow. Um, so the one that I'll make later will be another six portions. So in actual fact, for the five chicken breasts, the pasta, nine peppers, three onions, six for heat mixes, that serves 12, which is quite good, I think. So I'll show you what it looks like. Right, so this is the four they're going to have now this is what we've got left over which i'm going to taste some of in a minute yep and then that's for tonight right so i've got some chicken breasts here so that's it really 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 simple fairly healthy quite a good price really yummy Okay, so I can confirm that it's really yummy. Like, really, really yummy. It actually works much, much better with the pulled chicken. In fact, I think next time I do fajitas, I might well do them with pulled chicken because it just seems to go so much further and it just works better. My mouth's a little bit on fire. But... It's really yummy. So, I've got all our set up for later when I do our dinner. Although I have just like eaten a few bits of it and I may or may not have finished somebody else's dinner. Um, it was only a few peppers, it wasn't much. But anyway, it's really yummy. So, I think it'll be really nice cold as well, actually. So, we're saving what's left over. Mm -hmm. um, there was more than that, but everyone kind of got a fork and stuck in so um that's it 
really really simple i'd say maybe 35 minutes and that's mainly because for the pulled chicken you've got to cook the chicken first um and obviously the pasta takes sort of 15 ish minutes 20 minutes 15 minutes so it's actually a really really quick easy dinner to put together um for for me as well because quite often i do split meals so i'll do um the younger ones and then older ones if there's people at work and things like that so as a split meal it works quite well for me as well because i can do all the preparation like the chicken and the cut up the veg and all that sort of thing and then literally just throw it together um so the longest thing that will take later would be pasta um which isn't really difficult it's just hot water and pasta so it's a really simple meal to be honest and you know it's got lots of veg um chicken good veg good uh seasoning good tastes nice oh david's fallen over david what are you doing david you've lost your sign he's lost his sign he's lost his subscribe sign i'm gonna have to get it now there we go he's got his sign back and pasta is just living in the high chair for a minute because i couldn't be bothered to put it back in the cupboard um because i'm going to use it again in like two hours um so yeah that's it really simple i guess no um, i was gonna say you could batch cook it but i don't know can you freeze pasta i don't think you can freeze pasta can you probably not but if you're going to do it for like so that that would serve 12 so if you're going to do it for four um obviously third um six half it so yeah I'm really quite pleased. I'm really quite impressed because I kind of I had a basic sort of recipe, but um, I didn't completely stick to it because obviously I had to do different ingredients and stuff like that. And we kind of just did a bit of winging it and it worked, which is great. I love it when you wing it and it works. So yeah, that's it guys. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop us a like and it's free to subscribe. And David says subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, David. David says bye.